Hi, this is Dr. Ramin Tayani from the Tayani Institute, ophthalmologist and oculoplastic surgeon. Today I'm going to talk about DCR, dacryocystorhinostomy, which is a procedure we do for a blocked tear duct. If you remember in one of our previous videos, we've talked about the causes of tearing, and one of the causes of tearing is a blocked tear duct, and the procedure for that is a dacryocystorhinostomy or a DCR. This is a um, probably one of our more invasive procedures in the world of ophthalmology. And by invasive, I mean there's a little bit more blood and that kind of stuff. It's actually pretty painless. The patient is put to sleep for surgery and there's no pain during surgery. And typically there's minimal to no pain after surgery. But uh, today I'm going to talk about the procedure itself. And um, you might even see some clippings of the, the procedure. And, uh, and then what to expect before the surgery, during the surgery, and after the surgery. So, the, um, again, as we talked about, the reason to do a DCR is if you have a blocked tear duct, and uh, it's a bypass procedure. We're basically going from the tear duct, bypassing through the back end where the tears drain into the back of our throat, and we do a bypass procedure because there's a blockage somewhere in the piping. So, uh, the care of a uh, patient going through a DCR. There's nothing really to do prior to surgery. In rare occasions, we might put a patient on an oral antibiotic for a couple days before, which will be continued for a week after. But as all surgeries, there is no eating or drinking from midnight the night before surgery. So if surgery is on a Thursday, uh, the last eat, the me meal or drink you have is midnight the night before. The day of surgery, I want you to just take your uh, blood pressure medications with a sip of water. All other medications can be held until after surgery. If you're on any blood thinners, I want you to stop the blood thinners. Any Coumadin, uh, Vicod uh, Coumadin or Warfarin, you want to stop three to five days before surgery. Any aspirin, two weeks prior to surgery. This is a surgery where we do encounter some blood, so we definitely want to make sure that you're not on any blood thinners. That's something that you would talk to your primary care doctor and make sure that that's okay to stop. On the day of surgery, you arrive about an hour before surgery. You meet the anesthesiologist, the nursing staff, and they put an IV in. You will be put to sleep for this case. Uh, local anesthetic is used. And the uh, incision for a DCR is right at the uh, tear trough. A small incision is placed. Most patients, even though it is an external incision, do not leave much of a scar. However, I can't promise that there won't be any scar, but it's minimal chance of the scar being of any uh, concern. The procedure takes about 30 to 45 minutes to do. We make the incision on the tear trough, go down, like I said, uh, make a new passageway, and then we put a plastic tube, a stent, that stays in place for about three to six months after surgery, and uh, it is removed in the office setting at about three to six months after the surgery. The post-operative care on the day of surgery, you take it easy because you've had general anesthesia. Typically with general anesthesia, I do want you to be home with a family member or friend. I prefer you not to be alone, just to be on the safe side. And uh, you wanna keep the area dry for about 48 hours. No showering, no wetting the uh, incision line for 48 hours. Icing helps to keep the swelling to a minimum. We usually recommend 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off and there is an ointment that you use twice a day on the wound, once a day at bedtime on the eyeball. You put a little squirt, quarter inch of the ointment right on the eye, and then there's a drop that has a combination of antibiotic and anti-inflammatory, uh, a steroid combination, that you use four times a day on the eye. There is a small dressing that we put right in front of the uh, uh, nostrils to capture any uh, bleeding that might happen and there's a small uh, gauze that's placed on the wound that you could remove a couple hours after surgery. The dressing in front of the nostril can be removed and uh, exchanged if you need to, uh, but if it's dry, you don't need to exchange it. You could just remove it after a couple hours of surgery. The main issue with the surgery is that there is a possibility of having some blood coming out of the nostril or some tear, uh, blood-tinged tears uh, for the first few hours or even a couple days after surgery. You might um, uh, taste blood when you swallow because the, um, uh, the uh, surgery does lead to some dr uh, drainage of blood that you might swallow. So these are just things that you need to be aware of. There's no 
uh, issues. These are normal um, things to expect after surgery. If you have any uh, significant amount of bleeding, of course, you need to call me or the office immediately and we'll get you seen uh, immediately and take care of it from there. However, most patients, 93% of our patients, resolve the tearing uh, on the first go around of this surgery, highly successful surgery, and relatively uh, painless in terms of the post-operative care. You can drive your car the next day, and as far as activities goes, I'd like you to take it easy for the first week to 10 days, but outside of that, you can resume most normal daily chores. All right, this is Ramin Tayani from the Tayani Institute. Till next time.